Okay, this is the third declension song. It's one of my favorites. Um, I composed this one to the tune of What Do You Do With a Drunken Sailor? And it has three verses. There's the first verse, which is third masculine and feminine, or also known as common declension. And then third neuter verse. And then the last verse is for third eye stem. And it just tells you the cases which are different for an eye stem uh, noun or an adjective if you're doing adjectives. So here goes. Any is e m a any is e m a any is e m a common third declension ace um it was ace it was ace um it was ace it was ace um it was ace it was that's a common plural. Now neuter. Blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a blank is e blank to a neuter third declension. Ah, um, it was ah, it was ah, um, it was ah, it was ah, um, it was ah, it was, that's the neuter plural. Now the I stem, e um, genitive plural, e um, genitive plural, e um, genitive plural for all of the I stems. E for a, 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 for all neuter I stems. And to explain that, uh, just so you know, the e um, genitive plural, all I stem nouns have I, U, M instead of um for the genitive plural, so eum instead of um, and then uh, for neuter i stems you get the e or long i in place of the short e in the ablative, and you get ea in the place of the a uh, for nominative, accusative, and vocative uh, plural neuter. Um, the e for e also happens in some masculine feminines, but it's kind of a rare thing there. Uh, it also happens in third declension participles, but here or there. Uh, if you get used to seeing it occasionally, but it will always be for all neuter eye stems in that ablative form.